Hi guys, welcome to the course on Mastering Polite Conversations. This course is presented by me, Palak Sharma. Here are a few things about me you can have a read. I'm an economics honors student at Sophia College. I am a mixture of Keynes and Shakespeare, which means I'm a mixture of both English and economics. I have a love for both. And then I'm a global youth ambassador at a world at school. It's an organization internationally which promotes education, advocates education for all. And they've selected around 500 individuals from around the world to be their agents also i'm a poet at heart and a content developer do rate review recommend and share this lesson as much as you can because that will help us connect with a lot of people who are in need of such courses also if you rate it and review it people inside an academy would be able to sort out the preferences and know if the course is doing well for them or not also if you like my courses you can follow me on an academy this is my link Today, we are going to see how to express shock or surprise politely. So when it comes to express your emotional feelings, there are many ways of expressing them. So many of the expressions like I will be covering today for expressing surprise, they might be very short. So you can master them all very quickly. So we'll just start it from now. The first way which we can say is, wow, I can't believe it. This is great. So if somebody gives you a surprise birthday party and you're not sure, what do you say? And that somebody is someone who is elder to you. What you're going to say is, wow, I can't believe it. This is great. So in this way, you will be expressing your surprise in a very polite manner. And the person in front of you will be respected as well as awed with the way you are surprising. You are expressing your surprise. Secondly, you can say, I had no idea, I am so excited. So if somebody has done a great thing for you, if somebody has brought you a present and you were not expecting the same present from him or her, so you can always say, I had no idea and I am so excited. The next thing is that if somebody gets you something and you never knew that your mother was planning to give you something and then she suddenly comes and gives you a surprise or if you're living in a hostel and suddenly your parents come up this is what happened to me they like some suppose they, they said that they'll be sending something for you you go down the stairs and you saw your parents themselves standing there so of course this is like a great surprise for you what will you be saying then you can say this is such a nice surprise thank you so much for this now of course because they are parents you won't go for the polite english phrase but still that was just a hypothetical situation or hypothetical situation in which you can use these phrases these expressions next if something bad happens which gives you surprise which you never expected out of someone then you can say it's unbelievable i never expected it so suppose your cousin failed an examination and you never ant anticipated that he would fail it so you can say unbelievable i never expected it that he would he would fail the examination so you're not demeaning him in this case you're not belittling him in this case you're simply expressing that you are not like you were not expecting this out of him so you are qu uh, quite disappointed you are not happy and you are shocked and surprised as well in a negative way so this is going to be your expression at that time next thing you can say when thing is appreciatively surprising you can say wow this is great i appreciate this so somebody made a great tailored cake for you and it was beautiful the cake was beautiful it was tasty so you can say wow this is great i appreciate this next is that if you, if somebody something was gifted to you by someone some of your friends they took you out for an adventure trip suddenly you can say oh my gosh this was wild i didn't have a clue about this they didn't tell you about it it was a surprise trip and now you are like baffled you never expected this out of it now the next one is wow how awesome is this i have i was completely surprised again this is a polite way of, of expressing that you are surprised from uh, like by someone's deeds and you are in an all like situation in which you are expressing that you are happy as well as surprised then if your friends did something for you your cousins did something for you you can say you guys are great thank you for all this so in these ways you can express your uh, surprise you can express your shock and it will be a great thing for the other person to hear so if somebody gives you a surprise if somebody gives you a kind of uh, positive surprise surprising feeling or a negative too you have these phrases at your disposal these are very easy ones and you can easily adapt them in your daily vocabulary it will be it will become a very easy process for you once you start bringing them in your practice
so of course i understand that it is sometimes difficult to say how you feel in some unexpected situations like there may be a natural disaster and especially when you feel sad and it becomes very difficult to say and express how much shocked you are so you can like reduce the kind of uh, effect that your shock has on people listening to you you can always go for things like i was shocked to hear or the news came as a complete shock then we are all in complete shock then you can you can always like reduce the effect of that shock and it will be a great help to you people because it's not just about expressing your shock it's also about reducing the effect that will ha- that it will has on people who are listening to you so you can reduce that shock effect factor only if you are polite enough to pacify the situations uh, problem the situations uh, intensity so if you can reduce the intensity well and good you can go ahead with the shock expressions and all these expressions the eight i mentioned here these are not just only in ones which you can use you can always mention new ones in the comment sections i'm always open to suggestions right as i always say keep putting your suggestions down in the comment section also uh, give me your feedback because it's very important for me to know how am i doing if it's right or wrong so that i can improve on my future lessons also and future courses as well so this is everything for today i hope you enjoyed doing it but before that you can also have a list of few different uh, surprising things you can say you don't say but this is a bit rude one so you need to avoid it you shouldn't say you don't say like it's it's it can also be used in informal situation it's not typically for a formal one you can avoid using it you can say it's very surprising to hear this if you saw someone who came by surprise you can say fancy seeing you here then if something has pricked you as strange as unobvious you are shocked by it you can say how strange it's simple and yet polite then you can say surely not if you are not like shocked of something and you want to make the other people feel relieved that you are not that shocked of this you can say surely not i'm not that shocked of it so these were pretty much everything every phrase which i wanted to cover in this lesson so this is everything for today i hope you enjoyed doing this lesson and also if you have any feedback any comments any queries feel free to write in the comment section your suggestions your expression and your phrases are also welcome out there thank you and do rate review recommend and share it have a nice day.